Hello everyone, my name's Nicky Hawkins, West Ham Fan TV. I'm back here with uh, at Ball Street with Flav. We've just done the social club talking about all things football, so go and check that out on the Ball Street channel. Mm. Um, but I'm here with Flav. I, I normally like seeing Flav, but it's that, it's, that, it's that time again. West Ham Spurs at Wembley this time. Mm. Um, polar opposite seasons, really, mate. Yeah, um, it's uh, yeah, yeah. You're getting, you're having a, a night, bit of a nightmare at the moment, aren't you? Uh, we're your fans want to hear, us about, hear me talk about yeah, how good go on, we are? Mate. Yeah, go on. I mean, we've, we've gone to Wembley. We've had some had some tricky times, um, but we, we got over and we beat beat Liverpool convincingly, which was sweet. And no one likes Liverpool, do they? And um, you know, we Pochettino has got us playing well again. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, been, it's been a good season so far for Spurs. Fantastic in the league, Champions League as well. One-one draw with Real Madrid. Yeah, this is the League Cup. Yeah. Um, any chances for us that you might leave a few out? Might yeah, give yeah. us a bit of a chance. One hundred percent. We'll be playing a we'll be playing a weakened a weakened team. Um, you know, we've got Real Madrid next week. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and and as big a game as West Ham is, obviously at home, it's um, don't, don't pull out plonkers, mate. It's, it's I suppose West Ham, isn't it? Yeah, it's, but look, even if it ain't going to be tasty on the pitch, it'll be tasty off. Off of it, yeah. So, I agree. Uh, you know, this in certain quarters of our support, this is a very big game. You know, and there's. Bigger than almost any other, apart from maybe Arsenal. And, Bragging and, rights. Yeah. And that's it. And, you know, we know how much you lot loathe us. And it, it's the feeling's mutual, although a lot of Spurs fans will say, oh, we don't, we're not even bothered by you. That's not true. I don't think. Not I am, anyway. I, you know, and, and I kind of, I'd rather West Ham be our rivals than, than Arsenal because they're so fucking pathetic. <laughs> um, but that is what it is. Arsenal are <coughs> rivals and that's that. But the game tomorrow will be... Um, it will be a weakened Spurs team, lots of youth players coming in. We can't, How weakened? We can't afford to take this competition seriously. You can't, you, you've got to make a choice on what you can do. Our squad isn't gigantic. You can't go for the League Cup, go for the FA Cup, go for the Champions League, not that we've uh, got any chance of winning that really, but, or, or, and, and, and try and succeed in the league and play a full strength team in all of it. Um, so I, I think uh, you, there'll be 11 changes. Um, well, uh, that, that's, that bodes well for us. Would I mean? Would you agree with me here? Seeing as our form is so poor in the league, we might see some changes ourselves and, and not go into it as full strength as we we really should. I mean, Billich can't afford to do that. He needs to win. <coughs> he can't. If I was Billich, I'd be playing the best team I could play. Yeah. Um, I think he's he's got to go. I think it's time that you know he's clearly something ain't right there. You know, there's um, it's it's tough. It must be tough as you know. As much as I don't like West Ham, it must be tough losing your stadium. The players don't seem to really want to play for Billich. Billich seems a little bit inept, or at least a little bit lost, kind of run out of ideas. Yeah. But he's playing for his job. You know, he's been given that extra two-game uh, little buffer to see if he can turn it around in the, in in that 180 minutes. So he can't afford not to do this. You know, he can't think. You know, he can't think six months down the line or mm. or to the end of the season. He's got to think now. Yeah. And the West Ham fans need the win now. Um, and I hope we don't give it to you. I hope we beat you and and. You know, ultimately, that might help you help you out because if you've got if we if we if Spurs end up turning you over, he's gone. Gone. Yeah, he's got yeah, to be. He's definitely gone. Um, is it a little bit bit sweet playing at Wembley, Flav, with these cup games? I mean, you have got FA Cup coming up in um, in January. Yeah. Obviously, this is the the League Cup. You win this one, you get into the quarterfinals. Uh, obviously, I know that, that you can't target this competition, but it's the cup. Everyone wants to get to Wembley. I'd love to. I'd love to win it. We're at Wembley every week. Yeah, I know. That's, that's, the pro that's the thing. Is it a little bit bit sweet getting to these cup finals? Get, just get I, I, as soon, get me out of that stadium as soon as possible. Um, How have you found the change, mate? Like because horrible. obviously we've got we've got horrible, mate. Yeah. It's not even that we, we've been playing that bad. We've been all right. You know, we've had some dodgy Burnley at home draw, just getting over the line against Bournemouth, and obviously great wins against uh, against Dortmund and and, and, and Liverpool. Liverpool yeah. But I, I no doubt feel all the things that you, you lot felt when you moved to the to London Stadium, mm. it's not your home. It isn't it isn't it isn't home. It's the best alternative to what we could have you know, we had to get out there, we've got to build a new stadium and whatnot. And that in, in the short term that's gonna be a great thing and long term it's gonna be a great thing for Tottenham. But but it's horrible. It's like being in someone else's stadium. It's like how Arsenal must feel all the time. It's got yeah. no home. Same as us, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, there's no, there's no real grounding. There's nothing there to suggest it's all red. Every all the seats in the ninety thousand seats are fucking red. Do you know what I mean? It's hard, but it's. We, it's I'm not complaining back. too much. Yeah, I mean, like we've got. There's a lot going for Spurs at the moment, and compared to 
stuff that's happening at Everton, West Ham, and you know further down the leagues at Coventry and, and, what, and whatnot. You know there are a lot of fans with a lot worse problems than Spurs and playing yeah. at Wembley. We're, we're actually lucky enough to be able to do it. So, all right, mate, brilliant. Um, let me push you for a result. I think I think I think Spurs will win on penalties. Yeah, mm. yeah. I'm gonna push just because of the changes. If it was uh, an 11 against 11, the 11 that played on Saturday against the 11 played on Friday for us, it'd be a freshing. But because of the changes, I'm going to push for a 2 1 win for West Ham. Fair enough. All right, mate. Thanks for joining us anyway. No, and that's I'll a see pleasure, you Nick. I love you, mate. Cheers, mate.